Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Think Car 2 and the Think Car Pro diagnostic tools. Now, if you're looking for a tool to be able to go and check your fault codes, erase them, uh, check some uh, what I call your measure values or some data blocks, these are a great tool. Now, between the two, uh, there's only $10 difference in price. So the Think Car Pro is $59 and the Think Car 2 is $49. So I just want to explain to you what the difference is between the two. Now, as you can kind of see, there is a slight difference in the two of these, uh, particularly on the bottom when you have a look at um, the lights on there. So the Think Car Pro, uh, you've got um, three lights at the bottom so it kind of shows you when the Bluetooth is activated and it's turned on, etc. Whereas on the Think Car 2, you've just got one uh, little LED. Now the Think Car Pro beeps, etc. when you have got it connected. So I'll show you that in a moment. Um, but yeah, just go check the Think Car website and it'll give you a bit more detail uh, on what these two tools can do. Um, so just to fill you in on some of the basics, um, you can read fault codes, you can erase fault codes, and you can uh, read some of your uh, data blocks. Now with the Think Car 2, uh, which is the smaller one, um, you only get access to uh, three different VIN numbers. Um, so if you're just wanting it for your own personal car, uh, and that's all you're going to be using it for, then I'd recommend the Think Car 2. Whereas if you're going to be checking other cars and other manufacturers, uh, then I'd recommend the uh, Pro, because with this one, you can get five different manufacturers. Now, of course, what you can do with both of them, you can actually um, purchase different manufacturers and some of the uh, reset functions. So there's 15 different reset, reset functions available. Uh, depending on which one you get, you get a couple with them free. So it's normally the ABS and then the steering angle sensor uh, is the two that you get free with it. Now, obviously, if you if you need to um, wind back some rear calipers to change rear brake pads or you want to reset uh, service lights, you can purchase those um, software uh, packages as well. But these are really simple to use, so I'll show you that now. Um, first things first, you need to find your uh, diagnostic socket. So in my Porsche Cayman, let me just show you this. So in my Cayman, it is up underneath the passenger uh, footwell. So bear with me a second once I get down there. So I'm gonna use the Pro uh, first. Um, they are basically the same once you've got them um, set up. And what I mean by the same, so you can see there, there's green lights come on initially. So next, Turn my ignition on and move the boxes out of the way for you. So when you purchase these, obviously, uh, they come in this box um, and the activation code is um, within it. So it's pretty simple to use. All you need to do is go online, download the uh, app. And then once you've got the app, you just then uh, activate your device. It's really simple. Um, the great thing that I love about these is that you don't actually need a Wi-Fi connection to use the basic uh, functions of it. So I'll just set it up on my other phone here. So I go to Think Diag. I'm using my left hand, so sorry if it looks a bit wavy. Um, so see, I'm registered. I've got to make sure now that I've got the right device because I've got a couple of different devices on here. So I've got the Think Car Pro in, so I'll activate that one. I'll go back and then I go all system. Now, obviously, depending on um, your manufacturer, I can just go straight to vehicle scan and it will pick up and register um, my vehicle. So you can kind of hear it bleeping over there. You can see it's registered to Porsche 2009. It's got my chassis number, etc. Confirm on that. Now, a couple of things you do you can go straight into system selection. If you think, right, okay, I'll just, I just want to go to my engine control unit, you can click on that, go straight in, and then you can read a fault code. So, on this example, I've got no DTCs. Obviously, if you had fault codes, you can then go to clear fault codes and erase them. Or if you want some information about your control module, you can go into there gives you the date of manufacture etc etc um 
And if you want to then check some, I call them measure values, you know, it calls it data stream, uh, data blocks, etc. So I can go to actual values or input signals, engine data, or just give me uh, stuff that's relevant to engine. Um, but if you want to get actual values, then you can go through and you can do engine speed load. Um, let's have a find a good one. Let's kick down. Throttle valve, for example. Is this, what's this going to give us? Uh, the voltage reading. So because of the um, accelerator pedal, throttle body, it has two um, sensors on it. So it has a um, both work between five volt range. And obviously the way it um, does a sense check between the two, one goes up the voltage and the other one goes down. Um, and you can, let me just go back into one of those, go into a graph view. So you can see as I press the accelerator pedal, it's moving up and down. So it's quite good if you want to do some simple diagnosis on it. Um, obviously if you've got fault codes on there, it'll give you a little bit of information of um, actually when the fault code um, occurred. Okay. Uh, I can then go through and do a health report, which will do a full uh, health check. A system scan will just tell you what control units are actually fitted. And then once you've gone into that, you can actually then go into the same menus as uh, system selection. But um, the best one to do is a full health uh, report. Um, so it takes around about 30 seconds to run this through. And obviously you can see it going through each uh, control module. Don't be alarmed if you start hearing some bleeping on your dash, just like that. It's just as it's going through and checking the system. Obviously, if you've got lots of faults in the system, you'll probably find uh, the system scan might, might take a little bit longer. But there we go, so you can see now I've gone through my uh, health check, everything's come up as okay, so no faults um, in the system. But if you did have a fault, then let's say for example, it was with my, um, I don't know, instrument cluster, for example, you can go into there, you could then read the fault codes, it would then bring up the fault codes that are in there, uh, and then you can clear them. Now read data stream, you can go in here and you can read some of the data, so if I want to check my voltage supply to, my, to the dash, so we're currently running at 13.1 volts, which is great. I've got a charger on. Um, and again, loads of other uh, bits of information. You can select more than one at a time. So that is the uh, photo transistor brightness um, for the um, dash up there. So if I was to shine a light in there, what it should do is actually then uh, increase. But there you go loads of bits of information um what i would say is obviously this is the um although this is the pro version you don't get as many functions on this as what you do with the think diag which is the um the next one up with the think diag tool you can actually go in and you can read um or some of the uh, coding and adjust some of the coding uh, which you can't do on this one so just some of the additional features that you can do with the, the think diag over the think pro and the think car 2 so main difference between the two is the think car pro um you can you can have up to five vins for free oh sorry five manufacturers um and whereas with the think car 2 you get three different vins but that's it guys so if you want to just go in check some fault codes erase them check some uh, measure values you can do that it's nice and simple obviously now i've got my health report that i can use i can also go to um, obd functions and uh, check some of the basic obd um, engine emissions functions so again you can check some of those measure values and data blocks um, so as we go through here so you can see it's mli off zero ttc's it's talking about my readiness codes etc so Okay, so what I can do is then I can go in and read the data stream again. All of this is um, engine emissions related. So obviously engine's not running, uh, air intake temperature, I suspect this would be pretty high because I've just been out on a run. So yeah, 71 degrees, so it's saying it's quite nice and hot. Um, and of course you can go in, you can check that on, on the graph and if you're out driving, etc. But it's quite a good tool just to do some basic checks checks on 
um, if you think you've got an issue with your car. Put that. I just want to show you the um, maintenance functions. As I said, if you want any of these maintenance functions, so you've got uh, injection coding. So if you're changing uh, diesel fuel injectors or even some of the petrol fuel, fuel injectors, sometimes they're actually coded. So you do need to change the coding on them. Oil there, that's for resetting service lights. Brakes for um, winding back calipers. It automatically, or you should come with um, two free. So you, normally it comes with the... Um, SAS, which is your steering assistance, um, so your uh, steering angle sensor. You've got DPF on there, you've got EGR, you've got gearbox, um, tire pressure monitoring, your uh, sunroof. So a couple of up to 15 different functions that you've got on there that obviously you've got to purchase these additional um, if you need to do any particular um, coding or software um, related stuff. Cool. Well, that's it, guys. That's enough um, talk on that. Go check the guys out. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, they've got multiple other tools available, um, but this is just a review on the Think Car Pro and the Think Car 2. Cool. All right, guys. Take care.